Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And let's get started. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. Let's see what messages comes through today. And if this does not resonate, you can have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. Whoa. Okay, so the first thing I see here, there's a Divine Masculine here in this reading who is really deep within his thoughts. Like, this Masculine is really, um, when I say thinking, like, it's like a, a broken record kind of loop, in the loop, like in a loop, ongoing loop, kind of like um, infinity, nonstop. This has to do with um, something that didn't work out, something that turned out to be, um, I feel like uh, things uh, ended on a really bad note. Uh, Divine Masculine in this reading, he feels like there, he was um, surrounded by people who really made him feel like he had no say. I see that there, there is um, not just one person. There are a few people who surround this Divine Masculine who really um, feels like some spoke on his behalf. Some made decisions for Divine Masculine. Some felt that what Divine Masculine said did not really matter. Uh, majority rules. Like majority rules. If everyone took a vote, they all sided. Divine Masculine was was kind of like um, the outsider. Like I feel like he was not included. Um, it's showing here that he is thinking a lot. He is um, trying to See how how um how he allowed it feels like how he allowed um this this to last this long like how did I allow these people to have um so much say in what I do or how did I let go of that power within me and I feel like and gave it openly without thinking or without um holding my ground i feel because of this this divine masculine experienced something that has to do with he lost um control over his own i feel like um over his own way of living like even within his own home like there was he didn't have uh decisions he could not make decisions for his own place it was something he really dreamt of meaning that having his own place um being independent uh i feel like growing building self that was a dream of this divine masculine's this divine masculine and it feels like once he achieves something um he didn't have any say it's like finally achieved this goal but these people are the ones who are enjoying the fruits of my labor i i have no say in what i've worked hard for it that's what it is what i'm feeling like what i'm what i'm being shown is that uh some of these divine masculines say if they had um they had a goal to um live live a certain um like have this like um, beautiful home where like 
they had a huge yard and, you know, maybe they had two vehicles and um, a barbecue set. And I don't know, like it has to do with the lifestyle that they imagined for themselves. But I feel like he didn't really have say. It's like when he wanted to do barbecue, um, it's like, no, no, we're going to do something else. When he wanted to drive his car, it's like, no, I'm going to take the car. Um, if he wanted to do something on the external or interior of the place, it's like, no, you, you don't know what, what looks good. Let me take care of this. Let, let us take care of the appearance or the decoration or the furniture or things like that. But at his expense, it's his stuff. But he had no say. That's what it's showing here. So many dreams were fulfilled, but when it came to time, came to the time to enjoy it, he did not enjoy it. Someone else enjoyed it. There, there's a few people here that enjoyed the fruits of his labor. It's his home, but others enjoyed his home. And he's thinking, how did I, how did I allow this to happen here? It's not as as um it's not as happy as I imagined it to be. That's what I feel. It's like um he feels like he got the short end of the stick. From the outside it looks good. Um but living that life I feel like he I feel like if somebody had um uh, given him a compliment like wow like you have such a nice car divine masculine's like he'll be like yeah right if he enjoyed it that was something that was a goal of his that he wanted that car he would have had more I feel like he would have been more happy by that compliment but what I feel is that if somebody gave this divine masculine a compliment on one of his achievements it didn't it didn't um he didn't feel the success of that achievement because he's like what's the point because i have this car but um it's not really mine like technically it's mine but i don't i don't get to enjoy it most of the time i may be riding my bike or taking a walk right while others are enjoying um taking a ride in my car that's what i that's what i feel something like that so it's like from the outside, he is being admired for his achievements, his goals, but he is not enjoying those. Um, I, he's not enjoying his hard work, like he, what he has um, been given. I feel like these, these were things that he really worked hard on. It's a blessing. It's the fruits for his labor, but he's not, he's not um, getting to, he's not given an opportunity to um, experience what it feels like to, to have achieved a goal. Though he has achieved it, but he doesn't know what it feels like to um, experience that achievement. That's what it is. And it's not just material things, it's other things too. I'm just giving that as an example because it's showing here having to do with the home. I'm not being able to um, experience the joys and the happiness within the home. Um, and it's, it's being enjoyed by other people, but on the expense of Divine Masculine. It's to the point where he finds everything is just, um, it feels like... Um, he thinks of it kind of like uh, bad luck. Like, though it's something good that he's achieved, but now he's seeing it as something like bad luck. Like, what is this bringing for me? Like, it's not bring. it's taking away my happiness. It's taking away my pride. It's taking away pride in a good way, right? Having, being proud of your yourself when you achieve something is taking away from his independence or taking away from his strength, his power. 
These things have given power to others. I feel like um, power over this divine masculine in his way of living. So he doesn't see it as a positive thing. He sees these achievements as something that has become something negative that has drawn his energy out. It's like if I didn't have these things, these people will not be around. It's like the success has drawn in a lot of um, takers. Greedy, greedy. He has drawn in a lot of greedy, greedy people here. Selfish, greedy, and it has kept him held down. I feel like the reason, um, one of the reasons why, I feel one of the reasons why he was unable to pull away is because this is something that happened gradually and it was not uh, noticeable at first for this Divine Masculine. It's like he genuinely thought that these people were there for him, that these people were there to enjoy with him. So it didn't bother him at first, but when certain things started to repeat itself and he, he started to notice the... The word I'm getting is neglect and that there is no focus on the actual relationship or connection, whether it be friends, whoever this social circle is, that they don't, they're not genuinely here for me. They're here for the stuff or this way of living or the things that come with this way of living. Or it, I feel like not all cases, it's the material. It could be like the um, the things that the divine mas masculine does, like the favors um, that help elevate, that help these people grow in some sort of way. Whether it be socially, like um, I feel like uh, some, it, it can be reputation or... Uh, Oh my goodness, I had it in a boom. <laughs> Reputation and there was a something having to do with it it has to do with feeding feeding the their their pride, their energy, something to help not help, but to make them feel more powerful. Because they saw Divine Mask as somebody who is powerful on their own. They want to take away from the Divine Masculine's power. They knew that on their own, they were unable to achieve the things that Divine Masculine was achieving. They knew that even as a group, they could not achieve what Divine Masculine is achieving. But by including the Divine Masculine in this so-called group, they tried to strip away the power from this Divine Masculine from elevating so that they can start to elevate. Okay, so I'll go further in this reading. This divine masculine, I feel like he he feels that he's very he's these people have a very tight grip um, over this divine masculine. I don't know what it is, but there's something that's holding this divine masculine back. But it's showing here that the divine is going to step in to remove this divine masculine out, because this is um, this is something where this divine masculine this reading. He is unable to do so. It has to do with some sort of situation, circumstance, that he is unable to completely remove himself. But there's divine intervention here. There's something that is going to remove what does not belong. And that has to do with that cycle, that connection, that circle group, karmic group, um, that energy. I see it very clearly. It's, it's more than one person. This is, this is a group. 
could be um, family, friends, something like that. Once this Divine Masculine is out, I like this part. Once he's out, he's like, okay, now it's time for me to make a decision. It's time for me to, to move towards um, love, like real love. And I feel like it is not going to be fast. It's going to be like, I got, this is where I'm getting from this reading. I, I see it here. I got lucky that I got out in the nick of time. And now that I have clarity of what I want in my life, I'm going to go towards it. And I feel like they're going to work towards it. Um, there will not be any type of communication coming from this Divine Masculine in this reading at first. Because I see here that once they are removed, the Divine will pull this Divine Masculine out. Once they are pulled out of that um, cycle, karmic cycle, this Divine Masculine is going to focus on what they want in life, what's important in life. I feel like love will be on top. This is somebody who, who at one point, um, achievements, um, stability, like having um, material-wise stability, um, have some sort of like thing in place where their future is very secure. But now this Divine Masculine is like, I've been there, done that. I've focused on material gain and all that stuff. What did it bring me? Right. What what did I lack the most? And that was love, authentic love, truth, somebody loyal, somebody caring, somebody I can trust. And I feel like they are going to change their priorities. They are going to change what they they feel is important. What what qualities do they want to see in others and what they feel that they should be surrounded in? This divine masculine is going to put the the divine love at the top. Love, self-love, love for others, and wanting love and happiness is right on top. Their, their uh, priorities have changed. That's after the release from the, the divine is going to help release this divine masculine from the karmic cycle. There's some healing that uh, will need to take place for this Divine Masculine. I don't see it's going to be something major. It's just like, um, feels like forgiveness, forgive, forgiving those people, forgiving those people for putting my life in hold, like on hold. I feel like they, they wasted this Divine Masculine's time and energy and that forgiveness, um, the healing, Starts with forgiving them, uh, the healing, forgiving self, and healing, forgiving themselves for how they, how they uh, handled the connection with Divine Feminine. Clearing out anything that has to do with um, regret, that has to do with, um, I feel shame, and... Mostly regret. I feel it's mostly regret. It's showing here that this Divine Masculine will take a stand to start on a new path, positive path, something that's very different from what they are used to. I see, I see twice here that wanting to make a decision to move on a new journey, like a new path, moving towards a new way of living, a new beginning, and wanting to put put the old aside. Oh, there's something here about um, like um, losing trust, something that that has happened in that situation with with that cycle, with those people, something about losing trust in them, putting that aside too. Um, 
realizing that what happened with between him and those people, even if it was a negative experience, he had lost some trust in people in that experience. I feel like um, healing him, himself from that so that he can open himself to someone new or open himself up to others in the future, um, gaining that trust back, right? Rather than believing that everyone is the same, it's like, okay, those people was like, that was just an experience I had. Not everyone is like that, you know? So it's like healing from what took place so that when he starts a new, there's no baggage. There's no emotional or energetic baggage that's coming from that karmic connection. It's like he, when he moves forward, he will really move forward. There's no, um, oh my God, the past was like this and they were like this. And what if that happens? It will be, it will not be like that because... I see here that he's going to clear out, remove anything that has to do with doubts, um, disloyalty, um, people taking advantage or wanting um, some sort of like um, power. I, I feel like upper hand, have, wanting the upper hand, being on top. That, that kind of stuff will remain in the past. I feel like it's going to remain there. The divine masculine will choose not to bring that energy, not to bring any of that stuff, baggage from the past into new connections, not just romantic relation with divine feminine. It has to do with overall connections, like all connections, not bringing back things from the past that may affect. It's like you don't want the weeds to grow in the divine garden, right? It's like the re the weeds will remain with the with the weeds. <laughs> Let it stay there, right? But the the divine garden, the rose garden will remain clear clean. Clean of any kind of like um weeds or anything like that. I see here that uh, Divine Masculine will, when he starts a new um, beginning, uh, he will feel like he is lucky to have a second chance. Um, it's showing again that he will not take the second chance for granted. I feel like second chance at, at living the life that that he he really wants. And Though it may have taken time, though it may have been delayed, but it's like I still have this second chance and I'm I'm blessed. I'm really blessed to have this, this window open for me, like this opportunity open for me. And I feel like um, they know it's not going to be um, a clear path. Meaning like it will not be just like, okay, I just go straight to Divine Feminine. It's done. It, we're in union. I feel like this Divine Masculine understands that there is work that needs to be done um, on self first before moving towards Divine Feminine. And um, how to reconnect um, will, will mean to put more effort, to put more focus on the connection itself. Um, rather than assuming that it will automatically come together. I feel like when this Divine Masculine is ready and knows when is the right time, not only intuitively, but I feel like knows when is the best time to um, come into union. I feel like they will feel it. It's a not not intuition, it's the emotional part. It's the emotions. That I see intuition, yes, but... I see intuition, intellect, and also it has to do with the, the emotions, the um, heart chakra. The bond between divine feminine and divine masculine, when he feels that strong bond and that urge to come forward, that's when he's going to move forward to reach out to the divine feminine. So this is the reading for today. Um, thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you like my readings. And have a great day. Bye everyone.